Sorry, I'm joined on the line in Johannesburg by Piers Pigou of uh, the International Crisis Group. Thank you very much uh, for joining us, uh, Piers. First off, uh, are the allegations being leveled uh, at uh, Vice President Joyce Majuro, are, are they? At, do they have any sort of uh, credibility given uh, the factional uh, fights that are rocking Zanu PF in any case? Uh, good evening and good evening to your listeners. Uh, my uh, gut reaction is that uh, without, uh, well, in the particular context, we find ourselves that the allegation uh, must be treated with extreme caution. Uh, like so many allegations that are thrown around in the context of the Zimbabwean political uh, crisis, it's very difficult to sort out for the wheat from the chaff uh, to determine fact from fiction. And this certainly does appear to be part of a larger plot to undermine uh, Vice President Majuru. Now, now, of course, uh, you know, you speak about uh, the fact that the allegations uh, should be treated with caution. Where could this all have uh, stemmed from? Do you suspect that it comes from within the party itself? Yes, I have no doubt about it. This sort of smacks of, of disinformation, false flag operations and so forth. The kind of, of misinformation that you see uh, from intelligence services in different parts of the world who uh, may be trying to pursue or working in cahoots with particular political interests to pursue a particular agenda. Uh, what we have seen over the last few weeks is a systematic campaign around the country to vilify and to undermine uh, the Majuru uh, faction inside Zimbabwe with allegations that, uh, uh, that have gained momentum particularly as your lead uh, intro showed, uh, involving the president's wife, Grace Mugabe, who appears to be uh, a, a lead attacker yeah. uh, uh, against the vice president. What uh, do you, and clearly has the, the, the president here, uh, in this situation. What do you see as being the future uh, for ZANU-PF? I mean, I don't imagine that President Robert Mugabe will be on earth uh, for forever. Uh, what's to happen, do you think, post-Robert uh, Mugabe? Well, it's a big question whether the risks that currently exist within ZANU-PF uh, can possibly be healed. And most of the analysts and the people that I've been talking to over the last few months believe these risks are too deep. In the current situation where everyone is trying to demonstrate their loyalty towards President Mugabe himself, uh, it's very difficult uh, to, to actually see the, uh, uh, the, 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 the nature of, of the... Uh, of the divisions uh, and, and whether they will play out. For example, a number of those uh, whose positions were suspended meekly accepted uh, the suspension and the, and the uh, authority of the party in the decision, although we are, we are told that behind closed doors people are furious that there's been no due process uh, and there's been, a, as I say, a systematic effort by one grouping within the party to undermine the other.